Hi there, and welcome back to The Real Makeup Show. I am your resident real makeup artist, Chanel Prestige, and today I'm going to show you how to do a softer, smoky eye, okay? Uh, so, I've got some basics on. I've got my foundation on, I've concealed, I've powdered, I've put an eye base on, and I have a soft uh, veil of um, shimmer on my lid. Um, I used MAC. Silver Dusk powder, um, a thin veil of that, which I really love. Um, okay, I think I'm going to start with a neutral palette and smoke it up. So I would say that this is kind of a beginner smoky eye, but by no means is it mean that you can't wear this as your ultimate smoky eye, um, or it's a gorgeous way to smoke up your eyes and add drama without having to add a lot of darkness um, or blacks or grays or you know and then we can go in other areas with color and all that other stuff um, so don't feel diminished by the beginner smoky eye I just say that because it's a great way to practice and work your way up if the ultimate goal is to wear black all over your eyes um, you know so anyway here we go I am gonna start with I love this kind of brush for shadow. It's a, I love the way that it applies shadow. I love that way you can blend with it and control the product. Um, so this is the brush I'm going to start with. I'm going to introduce it into a color called Woodwinged. Now I'm just going to show you how I'm going to pick the product up. I'm going to just sort of dab one side in. I'm not working it around, getting too much product on there, right? Just a tiny bit to introduce a hint of it. And then I'm going to tap the excess off. This is essential um, so that you don't get all this sort of drift of eyeshadow down on your beautifully concealed under eye, your cheek with powder on it. You're ready to go. You don't want to have to deal with a cleanup. So first thing I'm going to do is start at on the lid, at the lash bed, work it up under move this move the fringe out of the way work it up under the orbital bone now if you've never you're not familiar with the term orbital bone it's that bone <laughs> that we um, call like to call the crease uh, but most of us don't have our crease see where my crease is it falls here so, but my orbital bone is here. Um, in order to effectively make your eyes look more open, if you've got, if your bone fall is higher than where your crease falls, you pretend that your bone is your crease, okay? This is going to allow you to achieve all of your <laughs> makeup goals. Um, if you were to stick with this crease, if I was just to work with my crease, where the crease actually is, the fold of the skin on my eye, I would, nothing would happen. Uh, my eyes would remain small, would look, would remain looking small, and everything would sort of get lost inside that fold. So this, using the orbital bone as a guideline for the crease, is what you want to work with. Okay, so creating dimension by adding depth under the bone and carrying that shadow and color up onto the bone and blending it in a desired shape. I tend to want to emphasize bringing it up and more open and bringing it out and working with the sort of angle of my eye. Okay? You see the difference there? I'm gonna do the same on the other eye. Again, blending it back and forth, introducing a tiny, tap the excess, tiny bit of product at a time. Don't be overzealous. Don't be afraid to take a minute to learn a solid foundation for technique because then you can whiz through this. But if you don't get it right the first time, um, or you, rather if you don't get your foundation right, if you just want to go in there and you want to get this black on really quickly and you get too much product on there, you're going to get really discouraged very easily and I don't want you to do that. I want you to be able to do the smoky eyes of your dreams. 
Sorry that my fringe keeps getting in the way. I'm going to tuck it back. Okay, so we're up and under, up onto the bone. Again, I'm, and what I, I basically, I'm, you see where I put the concentrated amount of color? I bring that to usually the lid up and through under the bone, and then whatever remains on the brush is what I use to sort of blend up. Okay, I don't grab more product to try to bring it up to the, that would just create um, a much more concentrated amount, and we don't want to do that. You can blend up, and that's how you get this beautiful blended look. So I'm going to take a smaller angle brush. Oh, I love this brush as well. That's what this one looks like. I'm going to put it against the white background. It's small and angled, um, but it's got a little bit of a density to it, and it's a, what is this bristle? I think this is squirrel. So, um, and it's, it's densely packed, but it's not a fine, sharp, angled brush. Um, this will allow me to blend color under my eye in a, in a beautiful, easy manner. I can get a concentrated amount, but it will blend very easily, but I can still control it. And I want to make my eyes look bigger, so I'm going to start at the corner, take it down, experiment with yourself, see what works for your eye shape. Um, start, obviously, closest to your lash bed on the bottom and then sort of gradually move away to see what desired shape um, happens for your eye, what becomes uh, apparent to you. And um, yeah, just play with it in little incremental stages. Since I already know what shape I'm going for, I'm going to just kind of get right to it. All right. So already we're creating um, a shadow, we're creating more of a sort of a smoky application, but it's with really subtle shades. So in order to make this a tiny bit more dramatic, I'm going to add a darker brown to this. Let's see, I think I'm going to use this lovely product called Shameless Shana. Um, it's a, a eyeshadow called, it's a Shady Lady Eyeshadow by The Balm. Bring it over here so you can see it. I'll pop it open so you can see the pretty color. There it is. And this, um, again, picking up, oh, and now I'm going to go into the crease and I'm going to use a bigger version of the last brush that I used. It's obviously fatter, more densely packed, it's bigger, it's got the same shape. Now this is going to allow me to get a lot more of a concentration of color in the crease quickly, but because of the bristle, it allows it to go on. Again, I pick it up, tap the excess off, and then I begin under the bone. And see, I can get that color on there, and I can get that concentration of color on there quickly but it blends as it's going on. Can you see that? How it opens up the eye. I'm gonna do that again. And I think what a lot of people need to know is that if you have a smaller eye or a flatter eye or a hooded lid, which is how my basically how you would describe my eyes, um, Coming up under the orbital bone and up onto the orbital bone, especially in the inner corner, is essential. I know that a lot of people like to play to the outside without and, and without putting any contour in here. And that just makes the eye look flat and extended. It doesn't make it look more open. Okay, so try this on for size. I think you will open up a whole world of possibilities for your adventures in eyeshadow wearing. You see? Voila! We're already looking smoky. We've got a good shape going on. It doesn't look like too much. It's not too dark. And again, if I had a ton of black all over my eyes, it wouldn't be too much, but it might just be too much for certain people's uh, taste level or what they feel comfortable wearing. So.